Hello, welcome to the Tuesday night live stream. I am Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur. If you are one of the regulars in the chat, then you already know that. <laughs> I am here tonight with Loki and Tozy. I think Tozy is probably the only cat that I have that is, this is, is this her first appearance on the live stream? I don't know. I feel like we've had all the kitties except Tozy. Let me get into the chat and say hi to everybody. We are crafting tonight. Tac Chat will be back next week, hopefully with Adriana again. It's been a while since I've had a co-host for Tac Chat. So if you are here in the chat, say hi. I'm going to be knitting in just a second. <gasps> Turn that down. Lauren's here and the virtual zookeeper, Evernight Star. Yes, I've got two kitties tonight with me. Um, here's Loki. Yeah, my baby. And Tozy has decided to bless us with her presence. Hmm. All right, so we are knitting tonight. Here's what I'm making. I'll show you guys. If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen this before because um, I posted it today. This is a scarf made with the yarn is called Fun Fur. Um, and I really like this. It's. It, let me see if I can show, if you can see close up how I've knitted these on the live stream before, but you can see how you can see inside the weave. It's a very loose weave and it's a seed stitch. If you're a knitter, um, it's a seed stitch. You can double it up. They're surprisingly warm, but also very like light. And each ball of yarn has a different amount to them. Here's the silver one I have. The silver one is like a lot longer, even though it was the same size ball of yarn. Here we go. And I have these that I make that I have up on my Etsy store, etsy.com uh, slash shop slash unicorn and centaur. Now the ones that are finished, this the silver one and the rainbow unicorn one, um, I'm calling them magical unicorn hair scarves because in the finished one, I have taken one tail hair from my horse Artax, excuse me, my unicorn Artax, and woven a single unicorn tail hair into each of these. So there is a real unicorn tail hair in each of these scarves. And tonight I have a champagne gold one that see I finished, but the little ends are um, sticking off. So I've got to take a needle and weave in the ends of that one. And I also have a purple one that I am currently working on. And the purple one is turning out to be kind of long. I'm loving this color. I may have to keep this one. <laughs> so, that is what I'm doing tonight. And tonight we're gonna chat about all the things that you can make for horses, um, DIY kind of stuff. Uh, as virtual zookeeper, you gotta eat some dinner. Well, please um, stay nourished. We don't need you like passing out during the live stream. <laughs> oh, send them to the screen. Oh, everybody needs kitty cuddles, Evie. Everybody needs, it's low, um, Tozy's not really a cuddler. She's one of those cats where you like, you pet her more than two times behind her head and she starts growling at you and getting mad. Like she wants you to pet her, but then immediately you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Loki's my little marshmallow. He's kind of in my seat. Loki, can I, can I sit here? Hmm. And y'all, I have been back in Savannah for about a week now. If you missed last week's live stream, come here, baby. I know, I know, I know. Come here, sit right here with me. You can be right here. Don't go anywhere, sit in. There you go. He's gonna blend in. He's gonna look like he's part of my outfit. <laughs> so this is what the little balls of yarn like. I don't even know if they sell these in like Walmart or Joanne Fabric or anything anymore. You wanna join in? Yeah, sure. Liam's asking if he can join us and a yes, you may. I'm gonna grab the thing I'm gonna do. Uh oh, what is the thing you're gonna do? I'm just gonna draw, redesigning my looks. Wait a minute, Loki is getting into the chat. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we are knitting tonight, and I'm not making these, um, I'm not making the scarves for my horses. I'm making them for people, but they are unicorn themed. The purple one and the champagne gold one do not have a unicorn hair in them yet. And it's probably going to be about a week before I can, excuse me, Diet Dr. Pepper. It's probably going to be about a week before I can harvest any more unicorn hairs because our Texan Sunny are still in Texas. Um, those, I think everybody who's in the chat, oh, hey, Zadel, how are you? 
Um, those of you who are in the chat, actually all of y'all, I think know that I was in Texas, but I am back in Georgia, but for any new people who are lurking or watching on the playback, I moved to Texas, um, for some job opportunities and we put our house here on the market to sell and, uh, but we got, we got the horses there. We got the cats there. We had everything happening and, um, then everything started going wrong. Are you coming in? You might have to move Loki <laughs> or we can like here. We can do this so that we're both here. So Liam is going to join us this evening. Yo. <laughs> and what are you working on Liam? Show everybody. Um, so, uh, I've got drawings of old superheroes I made when I was younger and I'm redoing them redoing their names if they have really dumb names like uh <laughs> this this one that i can't even pronounce Br Br Brixater? brickster i don't know we'll show it did you show it here is that one how old were you when you did these i don't know like a couple years ago i think it was i don't know so liam was redoing some drawings have to go to dinner back as soon as you can. All right, my darling, Evernight Star, we will see you again uh, soon. Let us know, all y'all eat dinner. What are y'all having for dinner? Hmm. We had sandwiches. <laughs> we had some, sandwiches. There's like some like a, uh, this one I'm definitely going to change the name of. This one's what? called a uh, Big Bye Bye. Big Bye Bye? <laughs> you were definitely, that's more than a few years old then. I don't. That looks like stuff you did when you were like three. No, 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 no. Th this was not something I did when I was three. Mm hmm. This is. Th I. I'm a very childlike person. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Me. I'm not judging you. I'm you just are. saying your art and your writing was that good when you were three. So. All right. So Liam is redoing some drawings in the crafting live stream. What are you guys working on tonight? Who is making something either for your horse or for yourself or to sell you know some of y'all i know i've got some very crafty and creative uh friends so if you have things that you're making like for example y'all in the chat jungle zadel is going to uh farrier school right now so he's actually making horseshoes i can't make horseshoes i don't even know what that's about what did i think of your burn uh, zadel got a burn on his neck yeah, you know, honestly, what it made me think of, have you ever seen the pictures of, because you have a beard, um, it made me think of the pictures you see of um, bearded men looking up, because you posted the picture, uh, Zadel posted the picture in the extra equestrians group of a burn he got on his neck, but he's got a beard and he's looking up, and when a bearded dude looks up, it looks really funny, so that made me think of the meme that I've seen that had um, men with beards looking up, <laughs> but yeah, it looked pretty cool. Taylor's here. Hey, I've already Taylor got to drive home. Be back on in a few. That's fine. I've already redone a few of these uh, characters, like Razor Flame, Night Panther. Uh, Show them off if you want. They can only see the backs of them. This is uh, the new version of Night Panther. I'm not totally happy with it, so mm -hmm. I might change it in the future. That happens with your art. You start looking at it and it's not looking the way you thought it was going to look or the way you planned it to look or the way you need it to look. And that's very upsetting. And this is the new razor flame. The old one didn't even have any razors on it, so I figured I'd add like, <laughs> flaming razor hands. Flaming razor hands. That sounds good for a dude with a name like razor flame. Is that his name? Razor flame? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Liam and I are sitting here making stuff anybody got something on had to trim your beard because it burned the hair too i bet it'll burn hair fast fire like you be careful with your eyebrows son because <laughs> that forge is hot so anyway when liam came to join us i was telling you guys that my horses are tex and sunny are still in texas now if you have been keeping up i think all y'all who are here live have been keeping up with um, what's been going on with Unicorn and Centaur. But for those who have not, I had to find a new home for my horse, Weasley, and I'm going to try my best not to cry about it when I'm talking about it. Ugh. But yes, Weasley went to his new home, and to be honest, y'all, he looks happy. 
Like Weasley's always been a really grumpy horse. He was grumpy for the family that owned him before me. And he was grumpy for me and all of the people that I, all my friends who have ridden him and all my students who have taken lessons on him, they know he just has this grumpy personality. But I, there, I have had some pictures of Weasley where he looked happy, but not that many. But um, Madison, his new owner, sent me some pictures of him and his little face. Y'all, you remember Liam? You saw his face. He looked happy. And it just made me think, well, what if he just didn't like me? <laughs> that sounds terrible. And I know, I mean, I was a good owner to him and I was a good, um, I was good to him. And I never abused him or hurt him in any way. But I don't know. Maybe he was just unsatisfied. Maybe... Maybe his new life will be satisfying for him. I hope so, because I still haven't wrapped my brain around the fact that I only have two horses now. Deanna's is here. Hey, fashionably late. Oh, hey, Luke's here, Liam. Oh, hey, <laughs> Luke's here. Zadel just realized how weird it would be for a centaur to be a farrier. I bet centaurs, uh, centaurs probably have like all kinds of really cool spikes and stuff that you can put on their feet for battle. So, hey, Luke, we miss you so much. We were just talking about how weird it is that my horses, Artax and Sunny, are still about 10 miles away from you right now in Texas. Um, they are going to be picked up by the shippers tomorrow. The trailer is coming for my babies, and they're finally going to get picked up and be back here. It should take anywhere from three to seven days for them to make the journey. It um, all depends because they're going with a big shipper, like on a big semi trailer truck. Um, you can see the kind of truck they came in on the video. If you go back to the video, my horses arrive in Texas. You can see the um, vehicle that they came on. It's huge. It's like a barn on wheels. And it's like um, a semi. It was. It's like a big old 18 wheeler. And they had other horses on the trailer as well. So they do pickups and drop offs all over. So it doesn't, it's not like driving straight through from Texas to Georgia. It's a long trip and they take lots of breaks. And sometimes they stay overnight in barns that they have across the country. So starting tomorrow, my boys are going to be on their adventure again. And I miss them. I miss my babies. I miss them. So, yeah, Luke, how have you been doing in uh, Texas? Because, I mean, we miss Texas. I thought about it today. I had to find, I had a baked potato for lunch, and I put this taco-flavored cheese on my baked potato, and I was like, ooh, I need, like, some taco sauce. And I broke in, I had to look for this container I had that I had all these all sips taco sauce packets that I put in a container and brought home with me because... Also, taco sauce. Anybody who's my friend out there, in if you're in Texas and you want to make me happy, put a buttload of, of Allsup's taco sauce packets in a bubble mailer and send them to me, and you will be my friend forever because that stuff is good. That stuff is like if Taco Bell sauce and Tabasco had a delicious baby. Oh, my God. Dibs on the band named Delicious Baby. <laughs> I know. Well, tonight we're supposed to be talking about all the things that we can make for horses. Here's what I have made for my horses before. I have made unicorn horns. Are my dog. <laughs> I made unicorn horns for my horses. I haven't made saddle pads, but I have decorated ones that I have. I made one into a pirate flag with a Jolly Roger applique, and I painted a couple of my saddle pads. I really need to make saddle pads because I have a bunch of fabric. Um. And it's fairly easy. I mean, it's a quilted square, pretty much, or quilted rectangle. Here I am burping up my Diet Dr. Pepper again. <laughs> Liam's making faces at me. Luke, are you doing anything tonight while you're watching the live stream? Are you drawing? Are you reading? Y'all let me know what is going on. Taylor said she was driving home and she'll come back. I wonder what she's working on. Two, four, six, eight, twelve. I count stitches between each row. I knit this with 11 stitches. Knit, um, knit, roll, knit, roll, knit, roll one way and then back the other way. And um, if I don't, every once in a while I drop a stitch 
or there's something that goes wrong when I'm knitting because I'm talking like I am now or I'm not paying attention and I'll mess it up. So if I don't count the stitches between each row, that's when I get in trouble. Anyway, are you just drawing or are you coloring also? I'm just drawing for now. I might bring out like some markers or something. All right. Are you going to, is that what you're going to use to color them in markers? Yeah. Color. Okay. Color. I have some colored pencils also. If you'd rather use colored pencils. I don't pencils. know where my colored pencils are. I know. That's why I was saying, I think mine are in a box over there. I can help you if you want to uh, color with colored pencils. Colored pencils are my favorite. I don't, to me, to me, colored pencils are like grown up crayons. Does that make sense? Actually, grown up crayons are like pastel. You're right. Okay. I stand corrected. I still feel like colored pencils are, they're like crayons for me. Pastels get too messy for me. I'm a mess. You're a pastel. <laughs> I thought I you were going to say I'm a mess. <laughs> you are that too. Yes, I am. So we've been back in Savannah about a week, and I didn't do the live stream last week because I was going to. We had just got, Liam and I spent 24, 25 hours in the car. I mean, we did not stop at a hotel. I did have to stop twice to take little naps, but we napped in the car. It's not like we got out. So we only got out to have, get gas and pee and get some more diet. Quit pepper. talking about us peeing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, it pee? took forever to get from North Central Texas to Savannah. And so when I got here, I'd only had like three hours of sleep and I was completely loopy. Scott had already been back here. What? The tongue stirs. You know what I've got next? <laughs> He's like this tongue dude. Big old tongue. Don't even so are these like superheroes? Yeah. And I created it. Taylor says, hey Liam. Hey. <laughs> Would they ferry their own shoes? That might be hard to reach for a centaur, Taylor. Like to reach their own shoes to nail it on. I'm not sure. I had somebody commented on one of my centaur videos today. Do you think she's a real centaur? And those comments always crack me up. Like, are there really people that are watching it? And they're like, no, she's lying. <laughs> like, I don't know. It seems obvious to me that it's a video and that I'm pretending to have a horse butt. But I don't know. Those come, I get those comments a lot. People are like, you're lying or you're not really a centaur. And I'm like, okay. Sure. I mean, you kind of make it clear, like in these videos and in your unicorn videos I know, right? and stuff. <laughs> I, I have real toes. See, now I was talking while I'm doing my thing. Did I mess it up? I love this cat. He is my cat. Oh no, did I mess this up? Cat, I think cat, I did. Cat, 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 cat. Two, four, six, seven, cat. eight. Cat. I did. There's an extra stitch cat. on here somewhere. Cat. Cat. Liam, stop. I like cats, okay? Hang on. I think I fixed it. Y'all, nobody panic. All right, hang on. Da, 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 da. Fake centaur news. Ha <laughs> ha. Unbox Warehouse is here. Hey, Unbox Warehouse. We're just knitting tonight. Um, Jungle Zadel says eight hours and 36 minutes away from me. That's not too bad. That's like to get from here to Nashville, Tennessee, where my, uh, near where my sister and my mom live. Let me see if I totally messed this up now. You probably did. I probably did. Anyway, y'all, Unbox Warehouse has dropped in. Y'all go see his channel. He does all these amazing unboxing videos. About what? Once he did one on um, unicorn meat. There's there's a product that they sell. It's like a novelty product. And it looks like it's a can of is Spam. It on, is it on like Grubhub or something? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I heard what you're talking about. But it's like in a little Spam can and it says unicorn meat. And when you, uh, well, I don't want to spoil the video. But he does an unboxing of the unicorn meat. And, um. He does all sorts of other stuff too, tech things, and um, I think my favorite was when he had his mom on there, and they did this, like, he's patting this cream on his mom's face, and it was just precious. It was just precious. Two, four, six, eight, 
I think I did okay, everyone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he said I cooked it on a rolly. Oh my goodness. Trash bag fashion lover. Hey, how are you? And you know, oh, uh, Evie says dinner is done. Good, good, good. Trash bag fashion lover, I've been think thinking about you because I, we just moved back to um, Georgia from Texas. And because I don't have like a lot of luggage and we didn't have a lot of bags, I packed so much stuff in trash bags, like kitchen bags and stuff. And so now that we're unpacking, we have all these like, they're used trash bags, but they've been used to put clothes in them and stuff. So I'm like, I should make something. I almost made a little like top to put on the um, live stream tonight. Evie, you should make a rainbow bridal. I sh you know what? Making tack. I think they make like, par you can make braided reins and halters and stuff out of paracord. I may try to do that. That's one thing I have not made for my horses is um, tack. Um, but I think you can do reins and then add little clips on the end so you have like these colorful clip-on reins. I totally need to do that. Why haven't I done that yet, Liam? I don't know because you're weird. <laughs> Watch it, kid. <laughs> you watch it. Adult. So that's one thing I really. So this year I want to make some fun saddle pads for my horses. Oh my gosh! I want to make some braided tag. Madison, the young woman who took my horse Weasley in, um, she I think makes braided halters and stuff. I should have tagged her in this. I'm the worst. Actually, she's sick and getting ready for a trip, so maybe that's best. Sorry, my mind is like all over the place tonight. It is. <laughs> As usual, right, Liam? Mm -hmm. But that's why I didn't do the live stream last week because we had just come off that 25 um, hour trip and my brain was like oatmeal and everything was still like Scott had already come home. My husband Scott had already come home with all the stuff, but he had started working back to work immediately. So he didn't really unpack a whole lot of stuff. And as a matter of fact, like, let me see if I can show you guys. <laughs> Why didn't I make the top? Oh, Evie, is she? She's not attacking the wings. I think she's just trying to like lick her own booty. What? That's Tozy. But like, I want to show you guys still, like over in the corner, there's still, there's my unicorn horns and my stuff that's still kind of in piles. Um, and that's kind of what the living room looks like as well. It's just everything here is still a mess. I'm not that person, like my mom is the kind of person who, uh, I was an Air Force brat, so we moved all over the place every two or three years. And every time we moved somewhere, like my mom had the house in shape, like home within a week. That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. Virtual zookeeper's back, hey. If you could put anything on a corn tortilla, squeeze on some lime and I'll eat it. Uh, yes, that sounds good. Even anchovies? That's a good question, Liam. <laughs> even anchovies? I don't know if an anchovy taco, even the, I don't think and even a cat feces? Line. Liam, that's not even food. <laughs> Let's not talk about cat. Well, he said anything. Mm -hmm. Where did my other knitting needle go, y'all? <laughs> All right, this is already really long. And I still have this much yarn. I look at this on camera. This is such a beautiful color purple. I'm in love. I love it. And it matches my eyeshadow. <laughs> All right. Which, by the way, that's how tired I am. This tonight is the first day since we've been back that I actually put on makeup. I was like, eh. <laughs> Virtual Zookeeper says, maybe I would, Liam. <laughs> Lauren's got to run. Good night. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit, Lauren. I will see you soon. The babies are on their way back um, to Georgia, and we're going to ride when they get back. Lauren is one of my riding buddies, and um, I know she's going to miss Weasley, too. I'm not done crying about that horse. When I get our Tax and Sunny back to their stable, um, they're going back to the place where they were. So when that happens, um, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start riding with my peeps again. Are you gonna ride with me, Liam? Maybe if you mm. ask nicely enough. If I ask nicely, huh? And even then, I don't know. 
He's a mess. I am. I don't know where he gets it. Hmm. <laughs> I should take a break and wave the ends in of my um, champagne thing. So I didn't have an answer. Is anybody else like making something tonight? Oh, Evie says, Liam, I dare you to do the chicken dance and say, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Is this a chicken dance? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a unicorn. There you go. I'm a unicorn. There we go. Anything for the live stream. That's my boy. Ugh. I had to do something to get this live stream going. It's been boring as heck. Rude! <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you stink. I'm going to make you start another channel so you can sub twice to my channel. <laughs> get that over there. He's so rude. There you go, Evie. <laughs> she says she's dying. <laughs> This child is strange. He will do just about anything if he thinks it's funny. I'm, she's serious. I've done some, some crazy things before. <laughs> yeah, he's not one of those kids that gets embarrassed, like if you ask him to. Uh, like I've licked a booger off my shoe before. <laughs> off the bottom of my shoe. Um. <laughs> My son, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm a bit more sensible nowadays. Okay. No more you know, booger flicking. Back in my day. <laughs> back I used to back be, when you were younger. <laughs> back in my day. Back when I was a young lad, I used to be pretty crazy. Oh, I see. But now in your old age, you've kind of settled down a little bit. Yeah. You know. Tozy, how's the licking going? Yes, yes, he is a doll. Who? Any more dares for Liam? Keep them coming. There you go. <laughs> uh oh, he may be in a little bit over his head. We'll have to retitle this live stream "The Things Liam Does for a Dare." So, oh, ear bonnets. Was it you, Deanna, that was talking? Why, Tozy? Was it you, Deanna, who was talking about, um, or was it Ellis? Dang, I can't remember now. Somebody in the extra equestrians group was saying that they made an ear bonnet, but they hadn't put the ears in because they hated sewing. Um, and I can't now remember um, because apparently my brain is still oatmeal-y if that was you or if that was somebody else. Um, because uh, I was like, oh, it's easy. I've got my sewing machine and I can set it up and do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And... Um, but I, confession time, I've made two or three ear bonnets now. Not a single one of them has ears attached. To be fair, I tried to put ears in one of them, but I cut it out according to the pattern and not according to what I had made. And so it didn't fit. Like the ear, um, the pieces that I cut were too small. So like measure twice, cut once, kids. Um, but I do have the fabric to finish it out. I uh, measure once, cut twice. Do Works you? for me. Is that like I cut very generous? Usually, um, I didn't even measure. I just cut really generously and see if it fits. I see what cut you're a little more off. You're asking for trouble doing that, son. All right, hang on, y'all. For just I make a it work. Back, you had to set mouse traps. This is my mouse trap right here. His name is Loki. Actually, Loki has only ever caught one mouse. My <laughs> Tozy's the one who's the mouser. No, Odin is. Odin is, yeah, that's right. Odin and Tozy are my mousers. Um, the one time Loki brought a mouse home, he was so proud of himself. I think I took a picture of it. Like his face. He was like, eee, look what I did. Okay, so when you knit something, you end up having these little tails of yarn. And so you have to take a yarn needle. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I like it. So I have to take a yarn needle. Hang on a second. And then you weave in those ends so that your knitting doesn't have like a little tail on it. 
So if you are making ear bonnets and you don't feel like setting up a sewing machine or you don't know how to use a sewing machine, you can always hand stitch it in. Sometimes I prefer hand stitching things. I know it takes longer, uh, but there's just something kind of relaxing to me about it. Okay, hang on, I'm just weaving this in. Because if this was like a, a tighter kind of a yarn, um, I would have to do this a little bit more precisely, but because this, the way this fun fur stuff is, I just kind of pull it through. Did I not get the scissors? I don't think I did. There we go. Actually, that went perfectly. So there we go. Now I don't have a little, I don't have a little tail on that end anymore. Dee, dee, dee. This one's gonna be longer. But oh, he's got like. So, okay, hang on, hang on. Taylor's back. Oh, Taylor's making pasta and Alfredo sauce. Everybody's eating tonight. Now I'm sad. I just had a peanut. We had peanut butter, peanut butter jelly for dinner. Now I'm sad. I said peanut butter. <laughs> and trash bag fashion lovers back. Yay. Okay, Evie said, okay, newcomers, we're daring Liam to do weird and hilarious things. Deanna says, that may be Ellis. I've decorated several of your bonnets. Oh my God, I was late because our roommate caught a little baby mouse and we were setting up a home for it. <laughs> Zadel setting traps for him and Deanna is naming them. Oh, your farrier class. Zadel says his farrier class started at 10 and is now down to seven. That happens. You're weeding out the sick and the old. Stick with it. Stick with it. A good farrier is so hard to find. <laughs> it's keeping the mouse. They named the mouse Tornado. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, Evie dares you to dress like a girl. Let's, actually, he's got a lot of stuff that's pink. That's kind of girly. And when he had his long hair, everybody thought he was a girl. We'd go, <laughs> we'd go into stores and people would be like, is this your only daughter? And I'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. And virtual zookeeper is glad we're finding a home for the mouse. You got to hold a bunny for the first time today? Bunnies are amazing. They're so cute. Uh-oh, Evie, I think you've done it now. He's gone to go look for stuff. Bless him. Why is this not working? I'm trying to not thread my needle. Oh, I tied a knot in the end of it <laughs> to keep it from fraying. Liam, bring me some scissors. Hang on, he's getting dressed. Okay. Eight traps and they managed to catch it in the cup. <laughs> oh, you know what? I had, Deanna, I don't know what kind of traps you're using, but there was um, once, like when I was engaged to a guy years and years and years ago, like 20 forever years ago, um, we were, this was in Texas. We, they had a pool in their backyard and they had rats in their backyard and they had a little wiener dog um, named Susie and Susie, they were afraid that the rats were going to bite Susie and get to her because wiener dogs want to like, you know, chase things like rats. So um, uh, they wanted to put out these traps and I was like, no, you have to use the glue traps. They're more humane or whatever I said. I, I talked them into using the glue traps. So they set these glue traps out by the pool. And we watched, we were like, okay, here comes one. And it was me and my boyfriend and um, his parents and his little sister. And we were all sitting at the sliding glass door in the back, and Susie, the little dog. And we're watching <laughs> towards the pool and we put a little glue trap there and we see this little rat come. <laughs> and we put a cookie in it. We had like a Nilla wafer and, and um, broke it in half and stuck it right in the middle of the trap so that it would be like even more attracted to it. So there's this glue trap with a little cookie right in the middle of it, and we watched this little rat turn up, and we're like, oh, here he comes, we're gonna catch him. This little rat, we watched him touch, barely touch the glue with one foot, and then pull his hand back and kind of do this thing. And they were like, oh, he's not gonna do it. This rat stands up as tall as he can on his hind legs, falls forward, puts his like front little paws on the cookie, and starts eating the cookie in the middle of the glue trap with his back legs like on the dry ground, front on the cookie, eats it all the way down till it's nothing, then pushes himself off and runs off. And I was like, what? That little rat. So then of course I got made fun of after that for being the freaky vegetarian who was trying to save the rat. I hope this is good though. 
Okay, is this girly enough, Evie? <laughs> <laughs> you did not bring, hey, you did not bring me any scissors. Sorry, I've got one My Little Pony sock because I couldn't find another one. <laughs> and he's in his pink riding tights. Yes, pink riding tights. Hey, scissors. All right, fine. Scissors, oh, she says yes, that's acceptable. <laughs> All right, so oh, I forgot to get some scissors out. Y'all, it's weird how these, um, Balls of yarn were the same size, but look at how much long the purple one is already, and I'm not even done. Thank you, and coming out of nowhere. Yeah, so it's weird. really hot in this outfit. <sighs> All right. All right, Evie, what else you got for Liam? Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're sitting too far. I keep having to move the thing over so we can get so you in the weird. shot. I didn't want to get Loki's. It's all Loki's fault. <laughs> Evie's laughing at you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay. So now here we are. I'm weaving in the other ends of this. After I get the ends woven in, I have to wait for our tax to get back home to Georgia, after which time I can harvest some more tail hair to make these uh, unicorn hair scarves. Get, why is this like this? Why is my life? Kids, you're like this. I'm gonna pop you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Or, you know. I'm okay with pain. Or, yeah, okay, well look, pain. here we've got the champagne gold one done. Ah, oh, how lovely. Mm. Do you hear what I said? I'm ignoring you. It's too small to double up though. Well, maybe not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Champagne. Now we've got, I think this was the shortest one. Yep. It's a little bit shorter than the rainbow one. And then of course the silver one is like really super long. I think the purple one's going to be like that. Anyway, those are going to be on the Etsy store. Actually the silver one and the rainbow one are already on the Etsy shop. And then the champagne gold one and the purple one will join it. Taylor's knitting a scarf too. Hey. Oh, Evie's still still thinking. Uh-oh. Virtual zookeeper, you like the um, champagne color? Oh, Evie has another one for you. Oh, no. Put ketchup on your face like a mask. We have ketchup, I think. I don't even know if it's open. <laughs> He's going to do it, Evie. <laughs> Are you? You don't have to take the dare. No, I have to. This child, you too. Planning and hand making all of my shoes when I start off in my career. Ah, mm hmm. Your centaur shoes. Evie, he's going to make a mess, Evie, and I'm going to make you drive all the way from your house to Georgia to come clean it up. You're going to have to come help Liam clean up the ketchup that is surely going to end up all over my kitchen. Okay, I've got. <laughs> Whoa, easy. Okay, so we got ketchup. You got a bowl. Wait, to... you're doing this in here. All right, fine, fine. I want to do it on camera to show right. the viewers I'm legit. I moved Loki over here. Sit down. Clear space, so I don't drop ketchup everywhere. Yeah, please. Let's not get ketchup on things. I can't believe the way the live stream is going to. Yeah, open it. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm gonna <laughs> Sorry. To, I'm going to have to wash oh, my no. face. Yeah, then you're going to have to go rinse your face off. Wait. Okay. Is it frozen? No, that is plastic. Oh, plastic. Do you want me to get that off? I got a broski. Did you just call your mother broski? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's the old Savannah PD you can hear in the background. I'm doing this for the viewers. Doing this for the views. Aw. For the viewers. For the viewer. Well, for the YouTube channel. I hate Wait, wife. no, wait. What are you doing? <laughs> you already got some on your shirt. Put it in the thing and then use your hands to put it on your face. Child. <laughs> I don't get you on my forehead. 
Okay. And I lost him. <laughs> I'm just knitting. <laughs> this is my life. Oh my gosh, it's burning my nose. <laughs> it's burning your nose? <laughs> yes. It's not even it like spicy ketchup. Uh, oh, it's watering my eyes. Don't do this. Oh. Go rinse your face off. Go rinse no. your face. I blame Evie. Ow. <laughs> you know, it doesn't hurt that bad. She's dying over here. It doesn't hurt that bad. It doesn't hurt that bad. Just make my eyes water. Grinios has just joined us. Hey, Grinios. <laughs> Evie is daring Liam to do random things. Evernight Star is... Um, uh, I hate my life. Do, do random things. I hate my life. Go rinse your face off. <laughs> so so far he has flapped his arms and done a chicken dance while saying I'm a unicorn. Then he dressed like a girl, and now he now yes, the whole room smells like ketchup now. Thank you, Evie. <laughs> Virtual zookeeper says nice mask, good for the pores. And beginner crochet ideas. Um, virtual zookeeper, my favorite beginner things for knitting and for crocheting are either scarves or dishcloths. Um, dishcloths are great, if, um, or like trivets, you know, like a hot pad for putting something on or getting things out of the oven. Um, because you can just do, um, it's just like a pretty much a square or a rectangle. He, can y'all hear the dramatics in there? He's like shouting in the bathroom. But um, I'm not sure about crochet, but that's my favorite for knitting because it's something like this. You just have your um, your stitch pattern that you do and you just then flip it around and do it again until you're out of yarn or it's the length you want. And no real pattern is needed. So when I make like, I wonder if I have a dishcloth. Hang on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. Hang on. You can probably hear Liam's theatrics in the background. <laughs> You're not supposed to get it in your eyes, Liam. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, we have blinded my child. Oh, and there goes Loki. So this one has a pattern on it. But this is pretty much what I mean when I'm talking about like a, a dishcloth. You can use... Um, something like this to wash dishes with, get it wet, put some soap in it. Mm -hmm. And I will even make things like this for, um, for friends. If I make, um, I'll make like two or three of them and then, you know, package them together and tie a little ribbon around them. And these knit up pretty quickly. You can find patterns for them online to make little, um, designs in them, or you can just knit a plain square. If you're going to make it like a hot pad to get something out of the oven, you need to make sure you use a small enough gauge needle so that there's no big holes in it. Like there's like the scarf that I'm making has big holes in the weave. Something like this, you don't want big holes that your skin's going to go through because if you grab something hot from the oven, you're going to be sad. I'm still smelling ketchup. You still smell ketchup, huh? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me find. Let me catch up in the... Um, Oh, no, um, oh Marvel's here. Oh, Purple Peach Arch. Should we call you Purple Peach now? Or um, what should we call you, Marvel? <sighs> <laughs> Evie says, okay, dare done. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <sighs> and yeah, um, Marvel, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just wet now. <laughs> <laughs> Evie, Evernight Star was daring Liam to do different things, so we were uh, busy doing dares. Wait, Evernight Star? Oh, is that Evie? Yeah. Okay. I get to go to the forest alone tomorrow. Oh, that sounds like therapy. I love that. Oh, Taylor said, Loki, no! Because Loki left us. Now we've got no kitties, it's just us. We were too loud, I guess. Oh a gosh. circular trivet. You know, I think circles are easier with crochet than with knitting. Um, a lot of new techniques. Maybe do another one, but square. Thank you. <laughs> Look. The devil faces. Oh, baby. <laughs> Grinia says, try barbecue sauce next time. Are y'all trying to kill my child? <laughs> Why, people? <laughs> Why? 
Oh, Pete says we can call him whatever. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I kind of like Marvel. I've known you as Marvel, I think, the whole time since you've started joining our um, our live stream. And your channel has had different names throughout the years. But anyone who wants to can follow Purple Peach Art on Instagram as well. And he does all these um, animations. Oh, is that Marvel? Yeah. He keeps changing his name. The channel name? Yeah. Hey, you get, I mean, you got to go with what you know, right? If your name doesn't fit, you pick something else. You know, especially when you're young, you want to try out all the different identities until you settle on something. I don't like my hair. <laughs> you're a mess. Are you even doing art anymore? Or are you just like, I'm waiting for the next dare. I'm waiting for my next torture. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm waiting here. I'm just you may go to bed. You're really tired. You need to rest, Zadel. You've got um, school. Because there's a dare up there. Maybe not a uh, barbecue sauce, but coconut oil is good for the skin. Oh I know. Oh, yes. do you know the My Little Pony theme song? Is that it one of the dares? Um I think so. It says he has to sing the My Little Pony theme song. Okay, I don't know all the lyrics, so okay, I'm going to substitute, you know. so it might sound weird. Some parts. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony, my, my little pony. You want to share this magic with me? My little pony. You want to share this magic with me? We have made two sets of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an enemy, and magic makes it all complete. Yeah, my little pony, and I owe it to all my very best friends. How do you know this? Do you watch that? I used to remember. Well, yeah, but I don't remember the theme song. I used to watch it all the time. It used to be my favorite show. <laughs> Is that the friendship is magic thing? Yeah. <laughs> and then there was the old My Little Pony song. My little pony, my little pony. I brush her hair and comb her tail. Like the one, the commercial one. It's like comb and brush her hair. Oh, fine. That was the commercial from when I was a little girl. Y'all, My Little Pony. Don't think you own My Little Pony. That is from my childhood. <laughs> and the little figures we had, and I begged my mom for, of course, I begged for every voice, ho voice toy. Voice toy. Every voice toy. <laughs> I begged for every horse toy ever. If it was in the store and it was in the shape of the horse, <gasps> mommy, mommy, please, I have to have it. King Louie just stole the entire ball of yarn. Ah, oh, naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, watching a Spanish movie called Extraterrestrial and has an indestructible jar of peaches in it. That sounds interesting. Indestructible jar of peaches? I know. What? <laughs> Evie says, bravo. Um, Evie and Marvel are very impressed with your rendition of the My Little Pony theme song. Oh, we're Thank gonna you. Thank show... <laughs> you very much. So... Just some of the old My Little Ponies. Plus I bought... There are My Little Pony movies? I need to catch yeah, up, y'all. I need to catch up. Yeah. I'm not going to finish this like tonight. I still have all now? this yarn. I think there's like two or three now. I did. You'd have to go way back on the Instagram to find it, but I dressed up Artax and Weasley. We painted. Remember when we painted them like My Little Ponies? Yeah. We put Artax's unicorn horn on him and then put this um, purple hair color on his mane and tail and painted diamonds on his butt. And he the was mark. rarity. Yes. And then we painted apples on Weasley's butt and did his mane and tail yellow. And he was Applejack. And um, it didn't look that great. Like the coloring we put in their hair made their hair look kind of wet. And I don't know. I just didn't like it. It wasn't that fantastic. But it was kind of cute. The cutie marks were cute. I liked painting, th I liked painting things on my horse's butts. Can I be a horse butt painter? Is that a job? Probably. Like I've seen jobs like armpit sniffer. Um, Where are you seeing <laughs> jobs like armpit sniffer? I don't know. Why are you like watching a, on YouTube? Like on a YouTube thumbnail or something? That's not an actual job, I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. Marvel, do you have three new baby hamsters? Oh, I got a baby hamsters. Aww. 
Oh, the virtual zookeeper is Joanna. I know sometimes like if, um, if people's YouTube names or Instagram names are weird and I know them in person, sometimes I don't recognize them at first. Or like, if I don't know your name, it's weird to say, Who is Joanna? I don't know. the virtual zookeeper is Joanna. Oh, but we don't know her in real life. I don't think we know her. In real life. She lives close by. I think she lives in uh, South Carolina. I think okay. we're not doxing you though. So that South Carolina is a big state. <laughs> Netflix is turning the Narnia books into a series, huh? Even though she uh, she probably lives in um, Arizona, yeah. If you're gonna Stop. come find her to kill her, Ooh, Zadel has Arizona. a question. Evie's thinking of the next air, and um, Zadel uh, says, "Would centaurs let people brush their tails? Because I don't like people touching my tail." Okay, but okay, I have curly hair, so you can't really brush curly hair. Um, when I've had it in a ponytail for a couple days, it's straight, and you can brush it. But somebody else brushing your hair on your head feels really, really good. So I'm at it. It's probably more of an intimate thing for a centaur, like something you would do with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or um, like a really close friend or something. BFFs on a sleepover. I don't know. Do centaurs have sleepovers? Maybe that's next center. Maybe that's the next center. But do centaurs have uh, sleepovers? <laughs> Um, so that's that would be my take. Probably I I wouldn't want anyone just like coming up and grabbing my tail and starting to brush it. But it would probably feel really good. My horses love their tails brushed. They sit there and they let me brush their tails and it feels good. Um, Granny says y'all need to join the SCA Society for Creative Anachronisms. I have a couple of my friends who are cosplayers and LARPers, and I think um, I think Jason belongs to the SCA. Jason Aarons. I think oh. he does. Um, but I've thought about that. I need to get my horses to where I could take them there, like with their unicorn horns and everything. That would be that would be fun. Oh, Grindia says there's a um, comic strip by someone, an artist named Donna Barr, um, uh, and brushing a centaur's tail is part of courtship. That see that kind of makes sense. Oh, for the last dare of the night, because I have school tomorrow. Uh, it says, do your mom's hair. No, we're going to have to have a different dare. These are dares for Liam, not for me. Yeah. I have done my own hair. I'm not letting the child pull on it. <laughs> oh. What? She says, bye, I won't be able to laugh. Well, I bet you can laugh. Let's see. What, what else could we make Liam do? Because we've got to go. It's like 9.52. We only have like eight minutes left in the live stream. So our final dare of the night. And since my hair is curly, he is not after like right now, we're not brushing my hair and I don't have my centaur, butt. my centaur butt is still in Texas. So we're not brushing my tail. Well, let's let the other viewers come up. Hmm. Let's see. Dare. Marvel. Do you have a dare? I think anyway, um, Joanna, if you're still here, are you on Facebook? Are you in the extra equestrians group? Um, I'm just curious. I know, I think I follow you on Instagram as well. Um, I love following y'all. All the people who show up in our chats, like I want to follow everywhere you are online. I want to follow you and see what y'all are doing. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Looks like some sort of like weird mechanical gun. Liam thing. should try to imitate you. Uh, he does all the time and it's annoying. <laughs> you ready? Zadal, I'm still writing a story about a centaur. Yes, write the story and get it done. Okay, yes, make, go ahead, imitate All me. right, I'm going to do two different versions. Okay. One is me honestly imitating you, and two is me making fun of you. Okay. So the first one is me honestly imitating you. I'm going to do your in intro. Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and, today, and in today's video, we are going to be knitting on the crafting live stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now this is me mocking you in show. Yeah, hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and I think I'm totally hip, even though I'm not, but like I think I am. <laughs> Video Pitahima. <laughs> <laughs> Rude! <laughs> I, you, you, you 
we're okay with this. There you go, Marvel. You has <laughs> imitated me. I don't know. I might be able to do better if I can think. What? Okay, y'all. I'm old. What is Discord? Grinios is talking about um, being on... What is... Do you know what Discord is? I've heard it before. <laughs> As he said, um, Granny says doesn't post on social media much, and Zadel's on Discord too. I still don't have um, Joanna still doesn't have a Facebook. That's fine. Not everybody does Facebook, but I I've had a lot of fun in the extra equestrians group there. I um uh, I did a group for us because like when I'm doing the YouTube videos, it's just like it's like me making videos and then people comment later the live chats are fun because then i get to interact with people but the quit it works the facebook group has been a place where other people can share things too sharing memes sharing jokes um stories about their horses pictures of their horses and costumes and stuff and that's really gotten me excited especially seeing um other people's i said quit it <laughs> Especially seeing other people's horses. I love seeing pictures of other people's horses. <laughs> I love it when people are completely respectful of me. Don't you just love that? <laughs> I love it when my child is so polite. <laughs> You're about half a mess right now, I swear to God. <laughs> All right. Thank you. The DJ has dropped a beat for us. So anybody still left in the chat? <laughs> He's no longer dropping a beat and is now having some sort of seizure. <laughs> infinite dab. No infinite dabbing. It was super effective. <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all. It doesn't look like I've made any progress on this little ball of yarn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's you know, like watch yourself. Like what? Oh, there's you infinite dabbing up here. Oh, wait, wait, where's watch yourself? <laughs> Jennifer is here. She says, "Is Liam had too much sugar?" Apparently, we went to the dollar store earlier, and he's like, "Is it too late for caffeine?" I'm like, "Yes." Uh, Actually, Fortnite is dying. I can't do that anymore. Okay, shush. Um, Joanna has a Discord. Don't really know how to use it. Discord's a type of chat platform. You can make group chats, private chats. Games, voice chat, and video chat. Huh. Discord servers that I'm on are for other kids stuff. Okay. They should add dances to Apex Legends so that I could do dances from Maybe there. Game. Okay, especially for games. See, I'm not much of a gamer. I like, I play solitaire on my phone. <laughs> That's the game. I know. That's the gaming I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> sugar, 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 sugar. Yeah, no more demi tasks for Liam. Mm -mm. Wait, no more what? espresso. Demitasse is a kind of uh, coffee. Oh. Uh, Grandius Liam needs to learn harmonic singing. His dad is really good at that. Um, like, I can't harmonize. I can't do it. I have what to. That that's where you sing the notes that the other notes of the chords. Like someone sings a melody and you sing a different melody that goes with it. So when it goes together, um, it sounds really good. Okay, you sing a melody and then I'll chime in. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know what to sing. You and your dad need to do this. The next live stream, we'll do tap chat, and we'll have a musical interlude with Scott and Liam coming in and singing something. <laughs> Just use Discord to chat. <gasps> Spilled your espresso on the carpet. Piping. Marvel. <laughs> Marvel, you should not be drinking espresso this late at night. What are you doing? Sir. So yes, if you don't be fooled, it definitely isn't just for gamers. Oh, we are about to have to shut down the live stream and I'm going to have to do something about this wild beast that has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> you are a mess. We didn't even really chat much about things to make for your horses. I'm annoyed now. We didn't. We just did bears. I didn't get I barely got anything done. Yes, what even? I'm a terrible person. You are not a terrible yes, person. Yes, I am. How dare you? How dare you? I'm, stop with the beats. Where's my pen? All right, so I, let's see. Okay, so coming up on the live streams, uh, the crafting live streams, I really want to continue making ear bonnets. 
what else did we talk about that we were making? Uh, not saddle pads, but something like that. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and look. I'm going to have to go back through the chat and look. Uh, uh. Lazy rainy night off. Oh, Jennifer. He needs a sensory deprivation tank. Uh, no, I'm a mother. I need a sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> sensory deprivation? Yeah, it's like this little cubby thing. Actually, he's probably going to sleep in one tonight. Liam has made a cardboard box okay. slash blanket fort that he has decided. I'm like, can I sleep in it? I'm like, on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> so It's got a floor in it. All right. So he has something kind of like it. So what is this? Uh oh, they're howling at the moon now. We've lost them. <laughs> it is ten o'clock. It's supposed to relax you and calm you down. Oh, the barn husky loves you for some reason. I bet it's because you're awesome. I love you, Marvel. I'm glad you're here. Y'all, thank you all so much for coming. Whoever, Jennifer, thank you for showing up. And Taylor, I know Lauren has long since gone to bed, but Lauren, I love you. Evie, if you haven't gone to bed, thank you for showing up and for entertaining us during our live stream with Liam. Luke, I don't know if you're still watching. Thank you for being here. And Grimeos and Zadel and Deanna uh, was here. Um, who else has been in here talking to me? Joanna, the virtual zookeeper. Hey, it looks like a rainbow deer. Hang on. Is there a way to reserve, like, a carriage ride with you specifically? We never go to Savannah. Like yes. Um, you can rent a private carriage. There are public tours and private uh, uh, Hey, settle down. Uh, there are public and private tours. The public ones, were, you're on a big carriage with a bunch of other people, and the private ones are like the smaller, pretty Cinderella carriage type things that are open air, and you get in it, and it's your own personal private tour. And um, anybody who's interested can contact Plantation Carriage Company. That's the company I work for. And Jennifer, who's here in the chat, um, she is the owner of the company. Um, her horse, you would love her horses. If you come here and visit, man, dang it. If you come here and visit, you will love Jennifer's horses. They are so pampered and so babied and so loved. Liam has a big bird nest. Yeah, he's going to sleep in his big bird nest tonight. Watch Altered States. I need to. Good night, Taylor. Good night, Marvel. I look like some sort of creepy dude. You are some kind of creepy dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get the new, um, I'll get the new uh, scarves up on the Etsy store. Thank you guys for showing up to the chat tonight uh, for Unicorn and Centaur. This is Michelle and Liam. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs> all right good night everybody i will see you next week when we have tack chat and hopefully i will have adriana uh joining us for that so yay yay adriana will be back yay okay bye <laughs>